today I am doing a um, review. I am on both um, this Amazon dress as well as this Ali glossy hair. So um, this hair is as is synthetic and a lot of people would not believe that it is actually um, three years old and synthetic. So it's not real hair. This is better than some real hair that I've gotten. Um, I love like it's obviously a little tangled. I've had it for three years. I've worn it a lot. Um, so I'll show you how I do my hair and it still looks good. So this was braiding hair. It came in um, bundles, obviously, so they were long. So what I did with it, um, I think I made a video about this a while back, but I deleted it now. Um, so what we're going to do when you get your braid in here, it comes like this, okay? So it's going to come long see the length um to f so what i did basically was put this um ponytail holder around it and i'm going to take it off right now um and we will resample just because i need to um fix i need to cut some of the bad let's get rid of the bad and keep the guy and honestly, for the price I paid, so this is from Ally Gloss. They don't unfortunately have it anymore on Amazon. Um, the price, I believe, was like, so for 20 inches, um, it was like $20, I believe. And I bought it like three times, I think. Um, so, um, yeah, I bought it about three times. Um, and I just, they had different colors and I was so disappointed when this particular brand stopped making, um, this hair because it was the only one that matched my hair so well that like looked natural. It didn't look like I dyed my hair. It just looked like my real hair. Um, it really didn't shed much, um, and those are, I wish I, I need some like real scissors. So, um, honestly, on a, like, on a scale of five out of five, I would rate this like a 25 because this hair is, is just like, uh, seriously, I cannot find, I've bought, this was like 20 bucks and I bought hair for a hundred dollars. That is nowhere near as good as this. Um, just excuse me for a second. I am looking for um, some type. I usually have a razor to cut my eyebrows, but I was cleaning yesterday and um, seems to have misplaced quite a bit of things during my clean seems more like a uh, um, disaster. Um, let me see if I have anything in my sewing box. So if not, it still looks good, just as good in a ponytail with or without it. Okay, so since I'm still looking for the uh, some scissors, let's move on to this dress. This dress also, um, when I purchased it, I started wearing dresses because I had gained a lot of weight really fast. Um, I have a brain tumor. I have, um, an, I have a pituitary tumor, which affects your hormones. So I, was, I had alopecia. So I started losing my hair and I started gaining a lot of weight. What woman wants that? And Amazon was there to save the day. Um, Prior to even looking on Amazon, I used to go to a beauty shop, but um, I moved when I got sick, and I was like, I couldn't get to that beauty shop. Ladies, don't worry. You don't need a beauty shop near you. 
you've got Amazon. That's the great thing about it. And it didn't close during, um, uh, you know, the date that shall not be spoken. Um, I'm just grabbing something to cut this with. Okay. So, um, yeah, I don't think you're allowed to say certain things on here. You'll get in trouble. So, what I have still is the hair and the ponytail. I'm cutting some of the hair off. Now, mind you, this is like three years old. So, that's why it's not looking like super fresh because it's honestly not super fresh. It's I'm reviewing something that's three years old. So, this is what it looks like after a lot of wear for three years. So, it was looking amazing when I first bought it. Um, so, right now, I'm just trying to cut this gut go. Okay. All right, video. Here we go. Okay. So, hi, everybody. All right, we, I'm back. So, basically, what I did is I'm cutting out this ponytail and... I'm going to remake that part, kind of um, add some, take out some hair. It looks like that. Um, I had like five pairs of scissors. I don't know where any of them are now. So this is why I hate cleaning. Oh, look, I just broke the whole scissors. Um, so anyways, but the dress, let's get back to the dress since we're having scissor issues. This dress, I love. It's sexy, but it's covered. It's long. It goes all the way down, if you aren't able to see. So it goes down to the ground, but it's not too long. And also, it could be a little more sexy. It has this little thing in here. Or if you're going to church, you can kind of cover it up and make these straps in the back tighter. This dress is also three years old, so I started kind of binge shopping on Amazon three years ago. I did have all the intentions in the world at that point to make videos and do reviews because I was so impressed, but I was also really sick. Um, I got diagnosed with sleep apnea, the brain tumor, um, and... Now I finally have gotten to the point where I can manage everything. So if you have alopecia and you're depressed, because us ladies, our hair is like a part of us. So it will get better. And don't worry, you can buy some hair, okay? And it's okay if you're a little thicker. I also have underneath here an Amazon purchase. I'm just... Amazon it up. They are not paying me. I'm not paid by any of these brands. Um, but I do have like um, a off brand skims under here to keep everything looking smooth. Okay. So here, like hair will come basically like this, but it would look nicer. Of course, I really do wish I could find some actual real scissors. Um, they just don't want to appear right now, apparently. Uh, so, I uh, will go right ahead and then just get to showing you how I would make this thing. Okay, it's very easy. Um, so, you have your hair, and then you take a ponytail holder. That's what I'm looking for right now. Uh, I should have been more prepared to do this. That's okay, too. All right, so I started getting bigger ponytail holders because some of those little ones, this one is actually a headband as opposed to a ponytail holder. But what you're going to do is you just take your hair. If you want it really long, you can kind of make it uneven. No one will notice. I've made some like super long ponytails and people can't tell that it's not like even, but, and it still looks like your hair. So there, I just fixed it. So basically it's just one of those, I should show what I'm doing better. Okay. So you take the hair, you take the ponytail, you wrap the ponytail 
around the hair, okay? Like this. So it's hanging there. You put the one string through the other, and then you just pull it really tight. Now, this is going to be a ponytail, and um, I will show you how to do that. So I already got a bun on top of my head, but if you don't know how to create a bun, it's it's simple, okay? And I do also have one of those little bun makers. Um, they have these little bun makers at the Dollar Tree. Um, you just basically wrap your hair around it and then put this in. Um, I can make a longer video, but I feel since I've been over here um, trying to find scissors for half an hour, there's no need to do that. So what I'm going to do is take this and wrap this part around the front of my hair. And then for the back or the other, so this one will go like this. Now you're saying, hey, that looks crazy. I know that, so that's why I have two. So I used to actually have three and it looks bomb, but um, one of them did kind of, you know, I do live in the Windy City, so it did get windy sometimes. This is the one that I made a little bit longer. As you can see, um, there is, this one's a lot more tangled, too. Um, I think I wore this one more than the other one, to be honest. Or it could have just been the way I stored it. But for three-year-old synthetic hair, to me, this looks pretty good. Um, I'm not going to take the time right now to uh, style it. So basically what I do is put it here like that. And I'm going to throw it back over, okay? And then this is where bobby pins come in. Okay. Um, so I have some bobby pins. Don't worry. I don't have to look for them. They're right in front of me. So I got bobby pins. And I have some older pictures where this was like hella cute. Of course, like I said, it's gotten a little older. But I'm this review is like showing you how hair can last even cheap hair if it's good hair um I'm, I'm saying cheap not cheaply made but it was not over the hill like oh, breaking the big expensive hair so basically what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and put probably 20 of these bobby pins in here so you, especially right there. So you want the hair to cover that. Um, you don't want the ponytail to be seen at all. Okay. Um, so we're going to keep going. Keep going. So I'm just putting bobby pins in. As you can see, my hair, it looks like I got lots. Of, I actually used to have this much hair at one time and I think I cursed myself because I would be like, I hate having all this hair. This is such a pain in the ass. Oh my God, it's so hot. And then all of a sudden one day, my hair started falling out. Um, so that was a shocker. Um, but honestly, at the time I was so tired because, um, any of your hormones that you mess with, like, control everything. I should have the outdoor. There we go. That was beautiful. Why didn't I have that window open before? Okay. So, we're putting this back. Oh, my goodness. Side shot, back shot. There we go. So, you're just putting bobby pins everywhere. Just keep putting them in. So it holds that bun in place, okay? Look, you can still kind of, you can take the front and just throw a bobby pin under there. So you take the front, I'm taking this, a piece of hair, and putting it in there, okay? I'm gonna do this. You can get, get bobby pins of different sizes if this is a look that you enjoy. 
make sure also we want to make sure that that bun in the back is not seen especially depending on what color hair you're using because sometimes there's a way to make i made myself look completely like i dyed my hair all blonde right uh with a ponytail and like some bangs and stuff um it was real cute too um i'm gonna see if i can redo that look the hair wasn't quite as good as this hair. I love this hair. I am so disappointed that Allie does not have this type of hair right now. I cannot find it on Baba. I can't find it anywhere. So, again, here we go. Let's see. People in the back, can anyone comment and tell me if this is, um, how's this looking? Is, okay, so you covered your bun. You look cute. Now, if you want though, what I did was, so like I mentioned, I really do need scissors for this part, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. So this did not, this is a different brand of hair, so I'm not going to talk about that. This is the Alley Glossy Hair, again from Amazon. Same thing as the other hair, same as this hair, except I watched a channel on YouTube of how to turn hair, braided hair, into clip-in hair. And that is exactly what I did with this hair. And this homemade clip-in hair, I'll have to, I can, um, attach the video. Um, it did take me a while to make, but it lasted like three years. Look at this. I have gotten so many compliments. So what you're going to do, so you got this in. Now, what you're going to do is you're just going to take these clips. These aren't in the best shape. You're going to clip it. I'm going to try and show you as best as I can. Um, you can start if you want at the bottom to make it look like your hair is longer than it really is. So starting here, starting here, starting here. There you go. And all of a sudden my hair is really long. So I got my ponytail and my back part. So again, I made another one. This one does need obviously so. Um, in this girl's video, what she did was um, told you how to you make a string. Um, all I had was red. And you basically how I showed you to tie the ponytail together on top. You do that with all the strands of hair. And then you can either sew or hot glue gun um, little clips in. And there you make yourself some clipping hair. It takes forever. That was the worst part was how long it took. So um, I put the first layer in. Um, so the good thing about this is it doesn't really, since you have this crazy amount of hair up top, you can kind of put this anywhere. Like no one's going to see it. Um, so you can just start adding hair everywhere, um, except you just want to make sure you do not get the ponytail connected to the clippings. This one doesn't want to clip. Clip. Okay, it doesn't want to cooperate right now. So now you got, you know, like how people do half ponytails. It looks like a half ponytail. I don't know why I'm talking so strange. I'm thirsty, I guess. Um, honestly, I cannot believe how long this hair has lasted. Like three years is a long time for a wig, for synthetic hair. Um, <laughs> not to even like even for your own hair you need a nice cut i mean i have kept this up by cutting it it does obviously need to be cut again whenever i find my scissors and so i'm gonna go ahead 
and put this in right here. Doesn't it, for some reason it's not these clips. What is going on here? What? Okay, what's the problem? Is this not? It's working here. Clip, clip. Why isn't it working in my hair? There we go. Okay, clip, clip. I'm going to put it like right behind my ear, this piece. Okay, clip. The nice part about like having hair this curly is, is with straight hair, you have to have, you have to really connect that hair perfectly when you're doing clip-ins. With curly hair, um, you don't have to be quite as perfect. So this is the longest one I made. Um, it is probably in the second worst shape. But honestly, I think this hair looks pretty good. Again, from Ally Glossy. They do still have some products on Alibaba, I believe. And they have a website as well. Um, but I haven't found this particular color. And it was listed as blonde, not as auburn or anything like that. It was listed as blonde. Um, so if you're a redhead and you have, I know us redheads have a really hard time finding anything that matches our natural color. It's like damn near impossible. Um, for example, I'll show you, um, I will do a different video about this wig. Um, so I tried to dye this close to my hair, but... Um, Alibaba got the hair much closer. I will do an install video of this one. Probably that will be my next uh, live video. I like to do these on live because honestly, I'm not going to sit there and edit it. And you can see the whole process like while I'm actually doing it. Um, okay, so we have these clips. You can, I, I don't know if you prefer live or... If you would prefer that I edit it, let me know in the comments. But I think it's good to do it in real time. Look, oh no, look, there's the red part of the um, hair that I told you I'm made from. So this one, what I do is I kind of, oh shit. I kind of wrap it around it's like the, the ponytail just a little bit. And that might not work with this. Okay, let's see. Like, what I usually do is I go like this. And then... These just don't... These clips are getting old, and they don't want to clip. Clip. I feel like I'm ruining my hair trying to clip these in. I mean, not actually, like, ruining my own hair, but, like, making the hair a mess. There we go, clipped in. All right, now it comes in the body pants because that's like looking crazy. Okay, I probably shouldn't have put it. Actually, this this clip cannot, no. So this is why I like real-time videos because you see that sometimes there are screw-ups. Okay, so this is me with a lot of hair. <laughs> this is me with my three-year-old synthetic hair. It, you can tell, I think, that it's obviously fake, um, but I think it looks great for what it is, like, for being as old as it is, for the price, and then, of course, everybody, I'm going to clean this part up here. So, um, I got... Oh, I made a mistake by cleaning yesterday, I guess. I should never have cleaned. Um, all right. I'm trying to reach for us. Uh, we have hairspray. I 
I'm just gonna use hairspray because the gel I have from Dollar Tree, it be um, what am I trying to say? It be uh, flaking. It makes flakes. Oh my goodness! This whole time here was a razor right under the box of um bobby pins that's crazy and i spent like half this video looking for it that's okay because i still need it like for this i can cut this off right there okay so just for an example um these ones i didn't use half as much these were some other uh, i don't remember the brand these were some other um uh, clip-ins that I bought from Amazon. I could do a review on them. They still have lasted. They're also in this box. But I'm just not going to present it right now. Um, but they came straight. So I took a uh, iron to them and made them crimpy. Not bad, but look at look at this. Look at I just want you to sit here and compare how fake this looks when you compare it to the the. I mean, they're both fake, but one looks, one is different than the other, you know, um, basically. So I'm going to continue just kind of spraying this part of my hair until it's relatively wet. I'm looking for, again, I'm looking for something. That I can't find anything today. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, where did it go? I must have done a horrible job. So yesterday when I was cleaning, actually, hold on. Yesterday when I was cleaning, it wasn't so much cleaning, but um, so this is my mom's house. I was living in Puerto Rico and I had to come home for some health problems and for my son in August. Um, I had a little apartment there and everything. And so I got, I was planning to go back and then there was a hurricane. So I had a salon there and everything. It wasn't my salon. It was, a, you know, a friend's salon, but I was doing hair there. Um, and everything's gone pretty much. Um, one of our friends is supposed to come by tonight who seemed to manage to get some of the stuff out of the building we lived in, but, um, the thing, I don't know how much got saved or didn't, but we should all pray for the people in Hurricane Fiona. I don't even know how I got into that, but yeah, basically, um, when I was on vacation, um, I came home and my mirror, I will turn this around, but I'm not going to turn the whole darn uh, computer around, I don't think. So I have a very large mirror. It's pretty big. It's a big mirror. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to take some of this down. Uh, well, anyways, so the mirror was hanging off the wall when I came home. And so I was like, what the hell? So basically, I kind of um, just put stuff up against the mirror until I could learn how to fix it myself. So I took myself to Home Depot and... Um, got the correct items and i did it myself y'all me i put this mirror back up on the wall i'm so proud of myself i really am because it was like 500 dollars to have somebody come in here and do it versus like i don't know 4.99 for the stuff that i used and and then I put up tape. It was pretty easy. Um, I mean, it wasn't easy. Um, I had some questions and stuff that I got answered online. That's what I love about YouTube is, and online in general, is just you can find how to on anything. So it's like 
you can find how to do anything and everything. So I learned how to do my hair. I wish in high school that this was available. I learned how to stay fresh. I learned this ponytail thing. Actually, I made this up after watching the video on how to um, make your own um, hairspray stuck in my mouth. After learning how to make the, um, the self-made uh, clip-ins, that's when I got the idea I could make a self-made um, ponytail out of basically any hair I wanted to. So, and it's so easy. And honestly, it looks better than a lot of ponytails I've gotten. So, this is the hair. And this is the dress. And let's see. I also have some shoes from Amazon. These are the shoes I usually wear with them. Amazon. So, Amazon put me on fleek. Um, the reason I got the Mexican flag in the back instead of like a Puerto Rican flag is a because all my stuff is in the water <laughs> down in Barrio Obrero, Barrio Obrero, and um, number two, yeah, this is the biggest flag I have. I have that's like the only souvenir when I travel that I would get was a flag, so I think. This could be better. Um, let's put a few more bobby pins, but I honestly think it looks pretty good. Add a comment if you have been watching and you like it, you dislike it. Hearts, just thumbs up, thumbs down. Do you even have a thumbs down? Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you feel. Um, I am up for criticism. Shit, I went to school for how many years to become a nurse? Well, I took the long path because I got a biology degree and then learned how much school doctors actually have to go through. And I was like, mm -hmm, no. Um, so then I got my master's in nursing and it used to be real quick to get your um it used to be very fast to get your nurse practitioner at least in in some states it still is they'll still take a master's degree illinois said no you need a doctorate for that so i need to go to school at the same time as a doctor to be a nurse practitioner that's crazy so i actually <laughs> i still started it anyways then i got hit by a car and that's actually how I found out about my tumor. Um, so that's why my channel is called Beauty and Health. At least one of them is. So my YouTube channel, I believe, is called, let's see. Um, I made a TikTok today. Yeah, my channel is called Beauty and Health on YouTube. And then it's just my name on um my uh, Instagram, and then I made a TikTok today, and honestly, I don't know if it's my whole name or what. I'll let y'all know if you're interested. Let me know. Um, so it's been about 40 minutes. Thanks for watching if you stayed the whole time, and um, so yeah, you can fix yourself up for like, okay, like the dress I said, was let's see they still are selling this this dress or similar dresses let's see uh $26 for the dress and then like 20 bucks for the hair a dollar for the hairspray 20 those shoes were like $20 I've had those for about three years about all this stuff about the same time just kind of going on a shopping spree. And, oh, okay, I will show you the one last thing about the dress. So this thing comes undone, and you can make it, obviously I don't want to flash anybody, but you can change these straps and kind of make that more of this. I have found when I change the straps that generally 
I end up flashing people. So I'm, that's why I have it more like this. It's supposed to be kind of like a tank top. It's supposed to be like a tank top like that. Um, however, like I mentioned, I don't want to flash everybody. So I try to keep the church girl look of the dress going. All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for turning, uh, tuning in if you did. I'm going to try to make a daily video, hopefully shorter, mostly on um, my products that I've bought from Amazon in the past, if they've lasted, if they haven't lasted, how they're looking, and you be the judge. Okay, have a great night, day, wherever you're from. I'm going to be doing some makeup after this. And I am by no means a makeup artist, but I do want to get his pimple hidden. Okay. Have a nice day, night, and um, week. Bye-bye.